the paperwork before we're off the boat, including the yellow fever document. And Folka, they gave me Folka's document. <laughs> and that's how I knew she was behind me. Well, on a very hazy morning, we are in Mumbai. I probably got to change the time on this. We've had an hour and a half change since Dubai. And there is a group in a rowboat here. I don't know what they're doing, if they're training or they stop now, but there's about six rowers or so. Two, four, four rowers, but I think there's two on each oar. If I can really zoom in and see what the heck they're doing. Maybe it's a pleasure thing. A wave. A little wave action here. She's out at breakfast, okay. We're out on the deck. They, this is everybody's going to their Mumbai tours today and we are going tomorrow so we're having a leisurely breakfast and a leisurely day on the ship today. Very lovely out here. Okay, this is the Mumbai gate which we're going to go into eventually somewhere. We're going to go down back. Okay, go that way. I'm going to just take a shot at the hotel. And this is the Taj Mahal Hotel that was bombed four or five years ago. The terrorists got in there and India has really taken on a tremendous security effort for doing things now. More security we had here than we had anywhere else so far. Here is a beautiful bird, if I can capture the colors. Gray neck, long beak, like it's in the uh, crow magpie family. Little naked kid here with his beggar family. Even some kind of a security gate we're going through for entrance, even though a lot of people are going in on the other side. Lots of birds here. Okay, we're in the Bay of Mumbai, of course, where our boat is, and they have taxi boats everywhere going around. This is the back of the police station here, which is a former naval, British uh, Navy place, Navy, Navy home. There's another view of the Taj Hotel, and here is the beautiful Gate of India, one of the landmarks of the whole country. Sort of their equivalent of a Taj Mahal, built by the British in 1911. What do you, what do you think of Mumbai so far? I, I think there are some gorgeous buildings that I can see so far, but I forgot how intense India is. Everywhere you go, they try to sell you something. Colorful costumes everywhere. These ladies are just gorgeous. Green, pinks, and the sea of people here, these pseudo holy people giving out little white beads and they wrap your arm in a red string and then they want some money, the holy people. Here is an old, I don't know if it's a banyan tree or not, but beautiful hanging stuff here. Probably about 10 foot wide. Here's the Victoria train station. It's now a World Heritage Site. Probably built during the century in Mumbai. And we're in a square with looks like a subway station underneath it. People getting out. Folk is going to get out and take a picture too. Still in the square. Getting a shot of another building across the street from Victoria Station. And statue of one of their politicians from years ago. Very good Folka. Good lady. My lady got some canna plants here. I'll just take a second to move in out of the parking place. A lot of taxis. The building on the right hand side that we are passing is the Bombay Municipal Corporation building. It was built Bombay at the same time, so that's the authorities. Building. It was built at the same time, therefore looks pretty similar. To the left hand side we are passing a ground where political rallies take place. And there was some kind of a demonstration yesterday, therefore as you can see, uh, you know, it's pretty busy even as of now because people come from the villages to take part in these demonstrations.
on the right hand side a lot of gothic buildings that we are passing which have been converted into hospitals uh, hospice, hospices uh, magistrate courts Hosp and one of them is the St. Xavier's College which is one of the best 57? 57%. Oh my God. These are the laundry men of Bombay. There's about 700 of these trucks, they call them, in here. And they're beating their laundry. They make uh, 50 cents per garment. And they're charged about $10 a month for each one of these by the city municipality who maintains this. There are guys taking baths and showers in there too. By putting on pants. There's one guy beating it. There's a guy beating his laundry right down there. Right here he's beating it. Right in front of me? Right there. He's soaping up the garden. Woke the spot in that he was beating and beating it with his hands. Okay, we're gonna go back to the and here I'll pan over to the train. We're right next to a, an elevated train look, station. Look, look, oh, here he goes. Quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. There he goes. We gotta get the bus. We gotta get. There's a guy. That's the way they beat the laundry. Just look, missed a, uh, and, uh, a Brahma the bull they actually keep it without pulling a, an ice easy. cart. What they do ice is was they covered by tarps, but the ice man sawdust, still gets delivered by which is a an animal here. And, and uh, the devotee gets his blessing. So it's a happy little arrangement. And as such, uh, you know, they move from place to place, usually from temple to temple. And in Mumbai, you don't get to see so many cows because we have, you know, so much of traffic on the road. However, in other parts uh, of India, talking about you holy travel, cows now. You see tons and tons of more people cows. People touching them there. As we take a turn, friends, on the residential apartments. So um, two of the tallest apartment Real estate in, in our country. city, friends, apartments in our city. It's a hot place to live. Just mentioned the apartment started three to five million. They go to twelve million in that those two high-rise, seventy-story buildings, three bedrooms, go up to twelve million. Books that were actually even read by him. Once you finish with that, you may go eyes in the life of Mahatma Gandhi. A little interesting story, right from the time when he was born in a small, little, sleepy little seaside town known as Porbandar, uh, at, and uh, proceeded to become a barrister in England then was offered a one-year contract to work in South Africa, so he was on his way to South Africa. Yeah, here's orchids in this wedding car. And uh, so once he reached the railway station and he was thrown out on the railway station, he decided to... Okay, we're in the Mahatma Gandhi Museum. Statues of him everywhere. This was a house given to him by a dining merchant. He lived here from 1917 to 1934, I think we heard. He was thrown off the train in Maritzburg, South Africa. He got his degree in London. And this is the scene depicting that. This is a depiction of the Salt Act. Uprising police beating people and Gandhi right in front there. This was a bonfire of the foreign cloth. Gandhi started, that was the whole weaving. This scene is depicting Gandhi meeting the King of England in 1931 in London in his normal dress. The Krishna building here. I didn't go inside, but Polka went up to this beautiful temple with inlaid floors. I'm just doing a view of the outside structure here. It's beautiful down there. It's a Jain temple we're passing now. J A I N, yeah. Capture that. They uh, cornered the diamond polishing market for India. 
very wealthy community of 40 million that take care of their 